Come on. <laughs> Right, we're talking a hand path line today, a hand path line. What is a hand path line? Not a clue. But before we do, subscribe, hit the bell notification button and of course the thumbs up. For more info, check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. Everything I do is on there. Coaching, online coaching. More. So thanks for subscribing. Hand path line, here we go. A rule or a line where the hand should go. Watch this. So, if I take my left hand and roll it just roll that forearm in that fashion so i'm there just roll the forearm to here now the back of the left hand points forward towards that camera you can see the club head's already set now one quick roll that one quick roll has set the golf club then from there i'm going to continue up with a little bit of shoulder turn and all i'm going to do is bend the right arm just bend that right arm till it's parallel horizontal roll the left hand Left wrist, left forearm, bend the right arm with a little bit of shoulder turn until it's parallel to the ground. There we go. Forearm, horizontal to the ground. Now, can you see the line that shaft's made? The line of this shaft. Do that one more time. There to there. The line of that shaft right there. Can you see that line? That line is fantastic. Look at it. It's absolutely beautiful line just up and down there. And then I'm going to adhere to this line if I go around it. Oof, there it is. I'm going to adhere to that line. That line's so important. Why is that line so important? Well, that's where our hands travel. Where's the sun gone? Well, okay, again, roll left hand, badge points forward, forearm fully rotated, fully rolled to there. So I've really just caught the wrist and set it there. Wrist cock, something else we must talk about. There. Then from there, I just continue with the shoulder turn and bend the right arm until it's horizontal to the ground there. Now, as I say this line here, what's gonna happen now, all I have to do is ensure my hands go up that line and back down that line. Up that line, back down that line. Both hands up and down that one line. That's where the hand path travels. So I take my address position there to there, and then from there, my hands travel up that line as far as they can possibly go. There, 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 there. So they're going as far as they can possibly go through shoulder turn. Now my body's turning, my, there's pivot involved there, but my hands simply go up that line and back down that line. That is us on plane. I appreciate that's easier said than done to stay on plane, but a visual picture of the hands going up that one line, back down that one line will prevent an over the top action. Sun's back out. Woo. So an over the top action prevented, rolled, right arm flexed, great. Up and down that line as far as I can go. Up, down, up, down, rehearse that, rehearse that, rehearse that. What angle is this club shaft at? Well that depends on the takeaway. When you take the club away, here, the earlier I cock, so the earlier I roll that, so imagine I was here and then I turn, now I'm much steeper. You can see that line steeper, so I'm up and down. But that might be your takeaway. Me with Eureka Golf Swing, I'm much more inside, so I take the club back before it sets slightly. So more one piece to here, then there. So much flatter, but I go up and down that line. I adhere to that line every time. Or at least I try my best to adhere to that line every time. And I know that is easier said than done. I appreciate that. But it's having that knowledge or that awareness that that line is a line of importance. How important that line is. That line right there, how important that is in relation to the DNA of my golf swing. And the DNA of your golf swing. And the DNA of your golf swing. Everyone's golf swing has a line of reference. Up and down that line. Up and down that line. Up and down that line. Let's try and not deviate from that line. There's a huge chance we'll come off that line though. We have to be quite regimental in instructing the hands and the body to adhere to it. And that's why we do lots of drills. There, there. Now what happens as I come back down the line is my hands come back down, my right elbow stays close to my right side. Even on the takeaway, there. So now my right elbow is close to right side. Right elbow then bends to parallel close to right side that allows me to turn 
keeping right elbow close to right side. So there's no flying elbows. Look at this line. There's nothing really funky going on. The right elbow connection to the right side is always there. It's always there because I've preset it. Then from there, it's much easier to stay on the line. I don't know what that line's called. We'll call it hand path line. I've really no idea. Close. Close. Up and down there. Up and down there. Up and down there. Boom. That was good. I enjoyed that. Now, the connection, this, this connection between right elbow to right side is vitally important within the golf swing. We know that. We've heard this a million times. But if you do those three moves, if you get to there, get to there, and then from there, the visual picture of where the hands go, it's through body turn. And when the body turns like so, so the rotation of the body, the right shoulder disappearing behind me, keeps the hands there, keeps the right elbow close to the right side, not touching, but upper arm and pec in connection or a relationship between each other. There, there, there. It's really good, it feels great. So I hope that makes sense. I'm pretty sure it will do. I'm sure you'll understand that. Visualize the line. Draw the line somehow. Look at yourself on camera and see, do your hands stick to that line? From halfway back to the top and back down to halfway back, do they stick to that line? If so, you swing on a great hand plane. Your plane's brilliant. Earlier on I talked about wrist cocking. Quick thing about that, which I actually wish I hadn't mentioned because it's not really relevant to this video. However, at address, my left wrist is cocked. Cocked like a gun. Boom, boom. That is cocked already. That is level. Cocked. At address, my wrist is slightly cocked. At impact, it goes to level. So the handle lifting up is all right. I think we'll do another video on this. So the raising of the handle is okay because the impact forces are taking you out there. Right elbow close to right side, up and down there. As you come back through, the handle will lift slightly because there's extension of the left wrist. There. Anyway, back to our line. On our line. On our line. On our line. On our line. <laughs> Not really hit it great this morning, to be fair. However, that visual picture of the hand path line, which we don't even have a name for, is brilliant. It's absolutely class. Um, you can understand how that makes the body work, how it puts the club head on a good path, and how the obviously swing plane is pretty well looked after. And of course, the byproduct of that is golf is going to become much easier. Have you tried these? Tacomo Golf? Have you even heard of them? I'll leave a link below.